Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management, bringing the important update about the economy and the investment markets. You know, we're firmly into 2023. Generally speaking, the investment markets are doing fine. Remember, volatility is always normal. Four or five steps forward, a step or two back, and repeat. Uh, and I do see volatility this year, and normal volatility, probably not to the extent we saw volatility last year, but we're gonna have volatility. So don't expect this year to be rip-roaring and everything's up 20 or 30%. But I do believe over the year's time frame, we have a good opportunity to kind of steer step up. Inflation is abating. The numbers that came out last week were a tad higher than what was anticipated. Remember, inflation does doesn't just keep going down every month. We've had six months in a row where inflation's been going down, and then you had one month where it ticks up. That's not a trend. Realistically, I see uh, more uh, deflation coming down the pike as we get into the second half of this year. So inflation in general is headed in the right direction, which is a positive. The feds will, will most certainly raise rates another quarter point at the next meeting. Again, not a huge impact on the overall economy, but we need to curb this inflation problem, which is really brought on, of course, by overspending and overstimulus and a lot of free money as probably many of you know, and what I've talked about repeatedly the last 18 months or so. These things can be dealt with, but ultimately what's gonna happen is it's growing the overall US economy and the world economies. Remember, while we have a lot of debt, it's still manageable. It's not as manageable now that rates are at you know four and 5%, but there will be a point in time, probably again, second half of the year, where we start to see the Fed pausing rates and even possibly reducing rates. So the cost of our debt will go down over time. The only way that rates would stay at this level or even potentially go higher for long periods of time is if inflation was completely stubborn and we were really running in that four, five, six percent range for a long period of time, which again, we do not see. And I would say most people that closely follow this, experts, feel the exact same way. We're, we've made a few portfolio adjustments in the last couple weeks, as most of you know. And again, this is to try to add a little bit more dividend structure to the portfolio as we come through a slower growth this year and potentially a slower growth next year. We're trying to get a, an overall better total return and just watch some of that volatility a little bit better or bring down some of that volatility and look for an overall total return package that's a little bit better, better than just growth alone. As always, if you have questions about your portfolio or any concerns, make sure you do call the office, schedule a phone review or an office review, whatever is best for you. We wanna make sure you're well communicated to and you're well taken care of. Our number one priority is you, the client. It always has been. And again, if you have concerns, please do call the office. We always appreci appreciate your business and your trust. And of course, keep us in mind if you know anybody who needs a good money management firm, we always enjoy referrals and we really do appreciate those referrals as it helps our business grow. Have a safe and profitable day.